My stepdaughter, 18F, who still lives with my wife, 39F, and me, 36 meters, sent a random text to me saying, Do you know how many times I've gotten off thinking about you? Verbatim, when confronted, she says it was meant for someone else. My wife ultimately believes her, but should I tl slash doctor, as the title says. This happened mid-morning a week ago when I was working from home as usual since the pandemic started, and my stepdaughter, who is a serious night owl slash late riser and still lives with us while going to community college, was in her bedroom supposedly still asleep, apparently not, though. My wife was working at her office, so it was just my stepdaughter and me home alone. After I saw the message, I almost immediately left the house to continue working from Starbucks, and then I told my wife about the message. That evening, my wife asked my stepdaughter about it, and she said that it was meant for someone else who she refused to identify. Until this incident, my stepdaughter had not mentioned that she currently had a boyfriend or significant other, so this someone else was news to us. After more Q&A, my wife ultimately believes her story. I'm not so sure, but maybe I'm being biased because the message was directed at me and seriously unsettled me. Nothing weird has happened since then, and all seems normal just as it was. I work from home, my wife works from her office, and my stepdaughter sleeps until like noon until she goes to class or does whatever. As a little more background regarding my apprehension, my stepdaughter has sometimes struggled, and still struggles, with male abandonment issues due to her father literally leaving never to be found again when she was 4 years old. I married my wife 10 years ago when my stepdaughter was 8 years old. A few times in junior high, my stepdaughter voiced curiosity about the specifics of, not only sex in general, but also my wife's and my sex life. Definitely awkward, but reasonable enough we supposed. Better her asking us what a blowjob is and whether it's better than regular sex, versus hearing it from kids at school. She also consistently compliments my personal self such as my hair, clothes, laugh, thoughtfulness, etc. Noticeably more than most children do of their parents, but she has always done that for as long as I can remember. She is very tech savvy, observant, and astute, so I have an extremely hard time believing she sent that kind of super personal message by mistake. I'm not quite sure I'll ever be totally comfortable around my stepdaughter again, and I somewhat want her to move out so I don't feel constantly uncomfortable in my own house for the next two years. However, I, she slash we can't afford for her to move out and, two, my wife thinks asking her to move out is unreasonable because, again, she believes her. Lacking any evidence to the contrary, nor objectively observing that anything is amiss since then, should I just accept that this incident was a legitimate mistake? I feel like I should at this point, but I'd probably have a difficult time truly doing so since it was weird AF. This reads an awful lot like you wanted it to be meant for you, not gonna lie. I was in the middle of sexting my GF at the time and accidentally sent it to a guy in the band I was in at the time. It was, very graphic. This shit happens man, sometimes you're focused on other things and you don't pay full attention. At least, hopefully that's what it is in your case. If it's the other situation, what can you do? Never speak to her again? Without some sort of evidence that it was actually intended for you, you could make things really traumatic in that house. I once accidentally sexted my brother instead of my boyfriend. Though, horrifying mistakes like this do happen. One time I texted my boss I love you baby. Because I thought I was in a text thread with just my GF. Now I always switch back to my thread with her so it doesn't accidentally happen again. What I'm saying is that it's entirely possible she inadvertently texted you. I am not trying to give advice, just point out that it does happen. I once sent my uncle a nude. I was texting him and my partner and just pressed reply and didn't see the name. Thank god I was close with his partner at the time and called her freaking out and she deleted it before he saw it, grimacing face, but yeah, possible. I cannot tell you how many times I have texted embarrassing shit to the wrong people. The most recent one was when I was talking to my wife about my sobriety, clean for almost 5 years, whoop. 
but sent the text to my boss's wife who is also my son's best friend's mom. I was mortified. She was great about it. I'm inclined to believe your stepdaughter in this case. She doesn't need to be in a relationship to desire someone. There are a million scenarios in which she wouldn't mention that person to you. Also, I have to say, your stepdaughter wasn't asking about your sex life. She was asking someone who was experienced with sex. My daughter asked why people moan during sex when she started puberty, that was awkward lol. She was just trying to figure stuff out. It does not mean she wanted to know what sex was like for you or your wife in particular. ETA, good on you and your wife for creating an environment where your stepdaughter felt comfortable asking you guys about things like that. It doesn't sound like she ever displayed any sexual behavior towards him before this. A kid asking about the birds and bees or complimenting that's a nice shirt is not akin to lustful behavior. If she's been secretly wanting sex from him she certainly went from 0 to 100 saying something so graphic out of the blue. She could be flirting with a guy online or something she never felt the need to announce as her boyfriend. I would be mortified, especially because he and other commenters want to keep hounding her about it. I've sent texts to the wrong number and not realized it before. Should I, 19F, tell my boyfriend, 19M, that I sneeze when I'm horny? So I have this weird condition where I sneeze when I'm aroused. Yes, it's a real thing, unfortunately. Lots of things can trigger it. Dirty thoughts, seeing slash experiencing something that turns me on etc. I have never told anybody about this because why would I? Anyway so when I first started dating my boyfriend, he was my crush for the longest time. I kept sneezing like crazy. The slightest thing would trigger a ridiculous sneezing fit. I'd just blame it on my allergies. One time we were making out and I sneezed on his face frown. I still sneeze a lot around him and a couple of weeks ago he was very concerned and asked me if we should do anything about my allergies. He was googling about it and even bought some nasal spray. I wanted to tell him the truth but felt too awkward. I know that it shouldn't be awkward now we're in a relationship but it still feels like maybe I shouldn't do it. I feel like it's gonna be weird. Edit, we've been together for three months. It's called honeymoon rhinitis. Happens to me too, milder than yours, though. Sure but don't make a big thing of it to the point where he thinks if you're not sneezing then you're not aroused. Or that if you sneeze it has to mean you're aroused. Yeah I'd like to avoid that. That's so sweet that he bought you nasal spray. Clearly he cares, and is possibly worried, so I think it's okay to tell him. He'll all be relieved and maybe even happy that you think about him like that. Yeah it's really sweet. He was doing a lot of research and even put on his glasses, he rarely uses them, lol. I told him that I'm fine but he said that he wants to help. Bless you. Oh, the comments are 50-50. Spicy. My 15-year-old friend is dating an 11-year-old. It's so creepy. She has been my friend since 6th grade. The grade this boy is in, we're in 9th. We've already turned 15, he's turning 12 in August. This boy is like how you would imagine a 6th grader to be. Still wears neon green everything, laughs at i funny content, dangerously immature, says she shut everything, etc. I have no idea what she sees in him. He is a fetus. My friend is a creep. My voice is 10x deeper than his. Every time I hang out with them, my brain cells are lost. He is 11, what the hell does he provide? Pokemon cuts. He is falling victim to my predator of a friend. I'm 16 and a girl and the thought of that makes me feel physically ill. You need to talk to your friend and maybe inform a teacher on what's going on. This is not a good situation for the kid. She's 15, she should know better than an 11 year old. Does any adult know about this because they should immediately shut this predatory behavior down? Yeah, I'm an adult and I 100% agree that that's not okay. Do your parents or any other adult know about it? My parents don't know, as far as I know, no other adults know either. 
Please talk to multiple adults about this. The more people you can tell, the safer this child is. And make no mistake, an 11 year old compared to a 15 year old, is absolutely a child. This is beyond unacceptable, and the older teen is taking advantage of a child. Yes please please tell a teacher, school counselor, principal, parent, nanny, medical professional, or clergyman ASAP. Please Google who is a mandated reporter for your state and tell someone. It is absolutely impossible for an 11 year old child to consent to any sort of relationship with a teenaged person. I know you may feel like a snitch or tattletale, but you could literally be saving a life. You are so beyond a doubt doing the correct thing by caring and telling. I know the word of an internet stranger may not man much to you, but there are people thinking about you all and really hoping things turn out well. It says a lot of good about you that you care this much, never stop. You're doing an amazing job and there are so many who are amazed by your maturity and caring. No words can explain how messed up this situation is. You should talk to some adults about this.